Coming up next, our main event, a matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago, but he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now, unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own, 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. Johnny Hendricks might have the best knockout power the UFC's welterweight division has ever seen. His left hand bomb is one of the scariest weapons in all of mixed martial arts. defending undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time, and in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan and is ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. Or tell the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Ben Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler with a professional record of 26 wins, 12 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, presenting the challenger, Johnny Big Ring. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of New York, presenting the reigning, defending USC undisputed middleweight champion of the world. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long Ready? time. And it is Ready? gonna go down go right fight. now. And we are underway. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion. And what a fight it was for him his last time out, winning the belt by vicious knockout. We're expecting massive pay-per-view buys here tonight because when you turn in a result like that in a championship setting, your fan base grows exponentially. You've seen his Twitter following. Oh, massive, massive slam! That'll change the complexion of this one. And now is where things could get really interesting. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. 
Back to side control. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Brown gets stung by that leg kick. Good combination so far from both men. Yeah, and here he goes again. And there's the shot, and there's the land. Nice takedown there by Johnny Hendricks. Connects there with the punch. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Outstanding kick there by Hendricks. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body, and his opponent landed it flush. So let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and tries to avoid further damage to the midsection moving forward. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Oh, that was a big left hand he connected with. He's got his back fully flattened out. Trying to get under the chin. Wants to slide that forearm under the chin to get the choke. Trying to work that arm under the neck for the choke. He's got it. He's got the arm under the neck now. He wants to get it underneath the chin. He got free of the choke. Tags him with the left. Oh, he got tagged with the right hand there. He's working from the back. Oh, he caught a big right hand. And he's going to try to take the back. Both hooks in. Well done, Sweep, and winds up in guard. Posture's up here. Oh, posture's up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Brown. Final seconds of round one. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by oh, the champion. Let's take a look here. Here's a perfect head kick. And here's another head kick. There's a powerful kick to the body. Brittany Palmer in the building tonight. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? All right, round two. Round gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Tagged him. He hurt him! Oh! He's in big trouble. The champ is in deep danger here. He's really hurt, and he... Oh! Full mount again. And again, again he gets the back. He's back to full mount again. Oh, we caught him with that right hand. He's got his back again. Oh, he might be a one-eyed fighter before too long. That right eye starting to shut. Able to land the single ground strike there. Now he gets the full mount again. Clean right hand. Going for an arm bar now. He's in full mount here, and he's looking for the arm bar. What he wants to do is, first thing he wants to do is secure the arm, tie it up. Then he wants to scoot his hips forward, rotate the hips, throw his leg across his opponents, and he's out. Wow, that arm was in deep. Full guard here. Nice punch there by Hendricks. He's in full guard here, and he's landing some nasty strikes. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Johnny Hendricks. Nice shot to the head. And he landed the right hand there. Big Rig getting pounded, something fierce by these ground and pound hammer fists. He's got to find a way to score him out. 
We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Still working this ground and pound. Good punches. Big punch from the top. Postures up. Good work from the top here by Brown. Nice. Hendrix's eyebrow looks horrible. That thing is bleeding like crazy. Paging the ringside position. You gotta come in and take a look. Posters up now and lands a vicious head strike. Oh, nice hammer fist there by Brown. Good punch. Another hard hammer fist. Clean hammer fist. Final seconds here of round number two. Big shot. And that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn. The round is over. And how about the swelling on that eye? It is only getting worse by the moment. It looks like the eye isn't completely shut, but it is moving in that direction. Not a good reality for him here. Let's look at that from another angle. And let's look at that again. You ready? You ready? Let's Here we go, third round of this chick. doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Landing some big punches in this position. Trying to take the back here. Took the back mount. Round's eye looks so swollen now. You've got to at least speculate as to whether or not that is a fractured orbital. Good shot to the head. Nice. Well, he's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work. He's in a position here. where he's going to get arm barred here. He's got to be very careful. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. Turns the hips. He's going to sit back. And he escaped the arm bar. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Johnny Hendricks. He's posturing up here. Now the hammer fist here by Brown. Little ground and pound here. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Brutal strikes landed from the full guard. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. Well, beautiful job there to posture up and land another vicious strike. Nice work there by Brown. Big punch from the top. He postures into place. The cut on his face is getting nasty. Lands the ground and pound strike. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Brown. He's looking for a guillotine. It looks like a tight guillotine here. It looks fairly close. He's free. That guillotine was close. Now he's in half guard. Nice hammer fist. He's getting pounded. And really starting to make these shots count. He's out! He's out! That is it! Beautiful KO just as the round was ending. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight. Just before the end of that round, a huge shot that drops his opponent and ultimately spells the end of the fight. Referee jumps in there furiously to stop the fight.
That is a crazy, crazy knockout just at the end of the round. Let's look at that from a different angle. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Boom. And there is the undisputed king of the 185 pounders, the UFC middleweight champion of the world. And how about the knockout to get the job done tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 43 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. King of the 185 pounders, there he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout tonight in his title defense. And that's got to feel pretty good. There were a lot of people backing the number one contender coming in here tonight, but he certainly muted all of that noise and then some. The celebration is on in the corner. Congratulations to the reigning defending, still undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world.